Hey guys, it's Harpstar, and today welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys some level one of those discussion of videos, and today we're going to be discussing about the perfect way to invest and get the best results out of a major tournament in Ultimate Team, such as the Irish Cup. So that's the example I'm going to be using today. And as you know, the Irish Cup didn't really go too well for a lot of people. A lot of people made a loss duly, purely because of the fact that the prices didn't rise. Some actually lowered really quickly. And if you guys do want me to make a video about you know why it actually happened, because I do have a few reasons and opinions on why it probably did happen and why the prices didn't rise to what people thought they could be. Feel free, to, feel free to leave a comment below asking for the video. I'll be more than welcome to actually do it for you guys if you do want to hear that. So, talking about the perfect investment. So, buying the players, right? So, the best time, as you know, the Irish Cup came out last week about Thursday. So, March the 17th. You want to know the best time to actually go and pick up the Irish players. And the best time to pick it up was the market crash, which I believe happened for Team of the Year. That is when the players' prices were so low. McGeady was going for discard price. Loads of players were going for discard price. And it was really crazy. And not many people actually thought, oh, yeah, let's prepare for the Irish Cup by actually picking up the deals in the actual crash, the market crash. And people only really started talking about the Irish Cup in January... Yeah, at the end of January or something like that. And people may basically missed a big opportunity to actually pick up their players in January. So let's say you're waiting and you don't actually sell your players on, you keep your players until the tournament, the day of the tournament. You want to be following EA on Twitter because they tweet out on Twitter before anywhere else when a tournament is about to come out. So for example, you're on Twitter, you're on EA, EA suddenly tweet Irish Cups coming out tomorrow and you'll be the, like one of the first few people to see it. And then what you want to do is basically I would say just wait like an hour or so. Don't sell your players on straight away because the prices may still be, let's take for example McGeady. Um, when I went to go pick him up and do the trading, which I did make a video about that a few days ago, his price was about 6.4k when I first searched for him. However, people started, you know, seeing the EA tweet and they kept, you know, getting interested and they started listing their players. And people started to buy McGeady's for the tournament. And after about one or two hours, McGeady finally reached his maximum price. So the ideal way to sell him on was basically buy it in New Year and then sell him on at peak time. Now it's quite hard to kind of estimate peak time but you know some people can estimate peak time and they're really good at, good at it so if you can, can actually do that you can make the best possible results from investment so the Irish Cup buy them in New Year and then people sold them on when they hit peak time because of course I expected peak time to be overnight and I, I am quite a rookie to investment and stuff like that so I thought it would go up overnight unfortunately the price has obviously dropped and EA's I'm uh, sorry McGeady's price is now discard price which is just absolutely mind blown and i didn't really expect it so you know maybe you guys can do this you know the, the um mls cup i believe happens in in about june so june the 9th june 9th i'm not sure when the actual net there will there will of course be another market crash happening when team the season comes out it's going to be absolutely mental so you may perhaps be able to wait for that but there's not really an exact date about when team the season will come out um, you could perhaps buy the players now because even like for example Obifem Martins, he's going for really cheap at the moment. You could buy the players now and just wait it, out, wait it out. But the perfect time if you were to invest for the Irish Cup, buy them at New Year when they were the cheapest. And perhaps you can do this next year as well if EA do choose to do another St. Patrick's Cup, which I'm, I'm sure they will. Buy them at New Year and just follow EA, EA on Twitter and constantly monitor the price of the players. And when you think, yep, the prices aren't going to go higher anymore, sell your players on for a profit. So hopefully you guys got a few tips on how to invest and the best time to invest. And of course, tell me below if you want to see that video about why the Irish Cup players' prices didn't rise up. And uh, yeah, drop a like, subscribe to my Harp Star, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.